Welcome, William. Thank you, Mike. Tell us about this book, uh, An Abomination That Caused uh, Desolation. Desolation. Yeah. Desolation. I can't see that yeah. far anymore to say the names of the books. But yeah, yeah, we all went through something. I tell you, we have this business where we have guests come in one after another to be interviewed on a talk show. And all of a sudden, in what was in 2020, uh, they said, oh, you have yeah. to close your business. You can't have guests in there anymore. And it uh, almost wiped us out. Uh, yeah. Now, you put together a book. To, tell us about the book, William, before I spoil the whole thing. Well, uh, as you know, we all went through something in 2020. Uh, I had spent uh, 25 years in uh, biblical prophecy and, and biblical studies uh, with different denominations. And uh, uh, when 2020 hit, I, I realized that this was quite significant. And um, I really felt the Spirit of God come upon me, as weird as that might sound, and uh, give me some information um, or made up information in my head. And so I, I wrote about it. And uh, it's not an attempt to, to uh, get people to believe what I'm writing, but just to help understand what we may have gone through. So from a bit biblical uh, sense. So. You'd been studying uh, biblical uh, prophecy for years? Yeah, I, I, uh, w I write about it in the book. I was inter introduced to... Um, end times theology through a religious group when I was eight years old and um, and um, and we were all supposed to uh, die in the year 2000 uh, so, so we, we got are. through that and uh, here we are so can yeah. you I don't want to spoil anything in the book but can you give us some examples of the prophecy that kind of describe what happened to us in 2020 well, it, it's, um, it comes from Daniel, um, Daniel's prophecy in chapter 12. It says that um, when, you, when you see the abomination that causes desolation, um, unroll the scrolls and count 1,290 days. Uh, blessed are those who live to the 1,335 days. Um, it's spiritual language, but so many um, denominations and so many theologians has has attributed it to a physical appearance or a physical manifestation of Jesus Christ, whereas Jesus Christ said uh, 2,000 plus years ago uh, that it is finished. He is a fulfillment of all the prophets and the laws that were written about uh, in the Old Testament, and he fulfilled that. So th this is basically just my attempt to show how through history uh, there have been many abominations that cause desolation, but that the abomination um, in COVID, uh, if I'm allowed to say that, um, was um, was definitely causing desolation. Yeah. Um, interesting book of Daniel. I mean, not a lot of us sit around reading the book of Daniel. So, in fact, I never have probably. Um, yeah. But I always wondered, since I was a little kid, where's all the prophets? Had all those prophets in the Old Testament. How come we didn't have any since? And you could just explain that for me. So thank you, uh, William. Yeah. So yeah. I already got something out of the book, and I haven't read it yet. Who's going <laughs> to read this book? Who's going to want to read this book? I think anybody who's been, um, I think it's for everybody. I, I, I really, I try to appeal to the atheist, the agnostic, the uh, the spiritually uh, religious uh, zealots that that want to claim that they have the truth to God, and and so I spent um, I I spent the the book actually took only about two month two months to write wow. once I actually sat down and, and wrote it, um, and I I just got this flood of information. Um, probably a lot of stuff that I just was reiterating over 25. So you, you kind of been uh, uh, saying this stuff for years. So now just kind of, I was just able to kind of put it in writing. Um, yeah. But I get my answer. Everybody can and should and probably could get some good out of the book, I'd imagine. I hope so. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a few reviews from um, from people. Uh, it's really resonated well with the um, Mm. I hate to call them new age, but the new age movement has really embraced the book. Um, 
simply because it it's not it's not uh, dissolving what Jesus did for us, but it's actually enhancing what He did for us, and and um, and I do my best to attempt to do that and bridge differences between the different different uh, sects. So. So it's not just this book isn't just for religious scholars or for zealots or no. people who are particularly no. uh, relig- anybody anybody can read this book and uh, yeah it really is it reads well yeah, yeah. and the Bible's always been a source of great literature and uh, full of great stories and uh, I like to hear from people who've actually studied and understand uh, way beyond what I do uh, way beyond my understanding people who have studied it and understand this stuff and uh, can explain some of it and I I'm hoping that that's what this book does. Yeah, I hope it does. And and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, and not to give the book away, but uh, when I finally finished the book, I came to this really the spirit that just drove me to write the book. Just basically said, okay, you need to wrap it up. It's finished. You wow. need to just let it go. And I realized that through all of this stuff and all the politics that are going on in the in the U.S. right now, we're seeing what. You know shootings and whatever yeah. the book has a, a symbol of the heart and the, and the idea is that we've been encompassed with this this mm, this steel this metal this technology and and underneath this heart is this is this is this red flesh that um, we're all supposed to try and, and reach and which means to love one another and care for one another and nice. and so there's lots of symbolism on the on the cover there's lots of symbolism in the book oh. And I talk about up on symbolism, but really at the end of the day, there's a very important message, and it says that we are to love one another um, as we love ourselves. But and I dive into that a bit as well. But but also to let people know that that the two commandments are um, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul, and the second is like unto the first. And that always struck a chord with me because the second thing. That, he, that Jesus was about to mention was basically the same as the first thing. You can't love God without loving others. And it's really a simple message, nice. but unfortunately gets lost with all the information. Yeah. yeah. Now, by the way, uh, William, I have your web address on the screen, authorwilliamjohn.com. What would our viewers yeah. find there? Uh, blogs. I do a lot of blogging. Nice. So once a week I put up a blog and we talk. I just talk about things that are on my heart that week and nice. stuff that... I try to not keep it personal, but uh, every now and again, I get my personal personal, personal things stuff. in there. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you're prepared. Well, I'm going to put your book cover up again because that's what we're here to pitch. You won't be able to buy this book, but I'm just was going to say, man, a lot's happened this last two weeks in the news. And uh, yeah. uh, do you have any basis there in the prophecies and things you look at that uh, uh, something big going on out there? I'd imagine. Well. Uh, not to give anything away, I have a new book uh, that I've that I've penned, and it's called "Coveting the Gods of Gold." At least I think that's what it's going to be settled with. Uh, it's out. It's out at the publisher right now um, for editing. Um, I I basically break down the rhetoric a bit. Um, we we are in a time of of a great deception. Um, you know, I start the book with uh, I start an abomination book with um, uh, Matthew 24, which says that uh, take heed that nobody deceives you, and so so the media and all of the um, what I call the MSM mainstream media, uh, all the different platforms that we see, there is a uh, definite um, um, hmm, how do I word it? challenge to get it at our heart. And to have us focused on men instead of God um, says that we'll be seekers of pleasure instead of seekers of God. So here we think that Trump is going to lead us out of, you know, or Americans do up here. We have Trudeau. But we think that somehow a governing body is going to lead us to a right heart. Um, and and it's not going to happen. No. And so the, the longer that we keep on the train of, of voting for somebody to take care of us, we're going to continue to keep going down this road. So uh, nothing will change under Trump. If anything, I think it's going to cause a lot of uh, chaos on 
the Democratic side. We see that in 2016, at least we did here in Canada, uh, how um, how the uh, the movement of uh, you know of of all the protests through through the different um, protesting groups. Um, anyway. Uh William, you do cut out a little bit here and there, but so we'll, I I think we're going to continue to see this go on. So, yeah, you, sorry, you, you do cut out a little yeah. here and there, but we're getting the message very clearly. A Canadian author, by the way, William John, uh, Bill. Yeah. We're just out of time, but any last thoughts? Anything you want to say about the book, about you, or anything in the world you want to talk about? Well, I think it's just all about love, right? And uh, you know, and uh, if you find books that that speak on that, whether it's fit or nonfiction, um, you know, go for it. Uh, reading is still important, and we don't want to lose these platforms, but thank you so much for having me on. All right, William John is the author. There's his web address, williamjohn.com. Uh, I know the book's on Amazon. What, what are the formats, by the way, William? Uh, Indigo, uh, kin, Kinder, uh, Kindle, I guess, um, Amazon. Yeah. If you, it's out most, there. Most, yeah. It's an ISBN, so it's yeah, it can be picked up anywhere. Or message me. I'd love to send you a signed copy. So yeah. Oh, I love to purchase directly from the author. Go to authorwilliamjohn.com. Ask him where do I get the book. Maybe he'll figure out how to get it directly, sign it for you, and stuff like that. Thank you, William. I yeah. want, I'd like to talk to you all day. They only give us ten or twelve minutes, and we, we yeah. went way past that. But I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to talking to you again. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on. Appreciate it. And for our viewers, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with another author right after this.